I would like to share something interesting with you today. Now this box behind me contains a picture that was painted by my father, Jamie Howard. It comes to us from a private collection halfway across the country. And what I'm going to do is carefully take the picture from its original frame, clean and inspect it, then scan the image for the archives before I put it all back together and send it back home. Before all that though, I wanted to talk a little bit about it. So let's take a look. This is really awesome. I'm excited to be able to share this with you. So let's talk about what makes this picture special. For a brief background, my father wrote a little book in 1988. In the story, we learn of a place called Somerville, where a wedding is about to take place. Certain characters mentioned actually create the art of Jamie Howard. One of these characters, Margaret Foster, is the watercolorist who painted this picture. Two other characters I would like to mention are Otis McGaw, who painted the oil paintings, and Seth McGaw, who was a writer. Now, the reason I mention them specifically is because this is actually the McGaw family house. So those characters lived in this home, which is so cool. I have seen dozens and dozens of beautiful homes designed and painted by my father, but I never realized he had painted these characters' actual houses until now. We have two paintings of the Arundel Tower in the collection, but until recently, that was the only architecture we could actually see directly from the story. Now, if we take a closer look at the house, we can see that it is in the Second Empire architectural style, a style mostly popular in North America between the years of 1865 and 1900, which fits with the story being set in 1910. This would have been somewhat of a new home when the story took place. So this style of home may look familiar to you as the typical spooky style house. It is the style of the house that Norman Bates from Psycho lived in, the Adams family, the Munsters, and many others in pop culture. And what is interesting about his choice of house style and this painting is that my father took something you would normally think of as spooky, run down and dark, and he made it pretty, colorful, happy, and bright. Just look at this giant sun in the sky and the range of bright colors on the home. We see him do this with other works as well. Take something you would normally think of as one way and switch it around on you, flip it. In addition to letting us borrow this picture, the family has also agreed to loan it for upcoming exhibitions. So you may get a chance to see this picture with your own eyes soon enough. For now, I hope you learned something about the wonderful world of Somerville, the art of Jamie Howard, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Seth Howard III. Thank you for joining me. Now, there is just one more thing that I forgot to actually share with you all, and that is what the inscription says at the bottom of the picture. So I'm going to read that for you now. This house is and was the McGaw family residence just outside the main part of Somerville. Seth McGaw lived here once, and so too did Otis. Margaret Foster made this watercolor helped by Jamie Boswell Howard. It is for Jill. Now that last part is another story for another time. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.